Right, well, Chris, it all seemed like you had nothing left to play for. You were, you reached that magical 40-point mark and then you go and thrash Chelsea at home. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice way, obviously, to end the, the season at the Hawthorns. It's been a, a long, sort of difficult season again for us this year. You know, obviously, we didn't, things didn't pan out quite the way we wanted them to, but, you know, 44 points going into the last, last game of the season, I think after the way things went last year, we'd have probably taken that, but obviously with the... The teams below us were still picking up points. It was uh, it was pretty nervous right to the very end. But as you say, the game on Monday night wasn't really going to have any great bearing on on what happened for the rest of the season. But you know it was lovely for us to go out there and get the result against the champions. Who and have been the best team by a, by a mile all season. I think the gaffer said that as well. And obviously just to score three goals and, and get a clean sheet as well. It sort of it rounded off the, the season pretty well for us at home. And a, a goal for you there as well, too, because to, to round it up, because I, I just having a look and it's like three gold, three gold, three goals yeah. every season. Yeah, yeah, I've been pretty consistently low over the last few years. I haven't got many goals, but no, look, it, it would be something I would love to, to get more of. You know, the first couple of seasons I was at the club, I got more goals than, than that. But, you know, sort of as, I, as I've got, got a bit older, I seem to, seem to not be scoring as many. But, you know, obviously I'm sent out there to do a job to to create goals as well so I've been pretty happy with my return for on that that front again this season but it'd be nice to score more goals but no it was nice to get one and especially at home as well it's always, it's always nice to score in front of your own fans. Now how's that head of yours after <laughs> getting whacked by the ball? Yeah it's fine it was uh, it was a strange one to be honest I didn't really know what had happened to be to be totally honest at the time and then obviously I've seen a few of the lads running towards uh, the fabric fabricast but you know look I'm sure he didn't mean to hit me in the head and on if he, He's probably good enough to pick me out, like, but uh, I'm sure he didn't actually mean to pick me out. But it was a strange, strange one at the time, and you know, obviously, if you, you kick a ball at that speed into a crowd of players, you're you're asking for trouble, and you know, the referee sent him off, and it obviously it made our night a, a little bit easier. Well, you're still doing well without that, anyway. Before you were down to him, but I wrote in my match report the following morning, he's going to have a, he's going to miss the start of the season with the three match ban, and now he's only got that one match ban. Yes, uh, I seen that. Well, obviously, I read it the same way as everybody else did. But oh, you know, it's obviously the, the appeals thing sort of. It's uh, people get them. Some you win, some you lose. And Chelsea have won that one, obviously. And look, I'm sure he, at the time he, he said he didn't mean to, to do it. So I'm, I'm sure it wasn't intentional. So you know, look, as long as we don't play them in the first couple of games of next season, it'll be all right. Now you you've beaten the champions at home. Now it's Arsenal. They perhaps don't have that much to play for, like Chelsea perhaps don't have that much to play for. They're for the asking there, or they're for the taking, really. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, we've known all season that our last four or five fixtures were going to be really difficult ones. And, uh, you know, that's funny how this th those are the ones we've picked up most points in over the last couple of months. So um, no, it's another game for us to go out and, and try and try and win and play with a bit of freedom. Obviously, as you say, there's not much riding on the game. And you know, Arsenal are pretty comfortable in the, in the Champions League places as well. So they've had a couple of bad... Uh, couple of bad results really at home for them and obviously two games they probably were expected to win out of their last two home games so you know they'll be looking to finish the season strongly so it's important that we go there and, and, and put on the same similar sort of performance as we did at possibly Old Trafford when we had to defend for long, long periods of the game and, and came away with something so you know, we saw Sunderland do it last night and, and, and Swansea do it the week before so you know, hopefully we can make it three. Yeah, and Bowes Myhill could be quite important then really just as it, you were talking about that game at Old Trafford where he had a play the blinder yeah yeah he's, he's done very well both since obviously since he stepped in since Fozzy Fozzy hurt his knee so look, he's a great goalkeeper he's a good guy to have around the place as well and uh, no, he's, you can, can't speak highly enough of him about how well he's done since he's come back into the team but obviously as you say the Man, Man United game stands out for the saves he made and obviously the penalty save and, and getting his three points and a clean sheet at Old Trafford